Hey everyone, this is Chris here and today is November 6, 2022 and in this video we're going to be discussing Mark Edmondson's amazing run to winning the 1976 Australian Open despite his incredibly low rank of 212 in the world. This is a record that was set back in 1976 and it still stands even to this day. So before we get into this topic, I'd like to encourage you guys, if you're new to this channel, to please take a minute to hit the subscribe button down below. That'll keep you notified of any time we release additional content like this. And of course, if you enjoy videos like this, then please be sure to share this video with your friends. All right, guys, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay guys, so I've got a really interesting story for you today. And Mark Edmondson was indeed ranked just 212 when he captured the 1976 Austrian Open when he was 22 years old. Now a lot of you guys are probably wondering, how is it that a player ranked so low would even manage to get through the qualifying rounds of a Grand Slam event like this? Well, a lot of that has to do with the time period that we're talking about. And of course, this is the mid-1970s. So back then, a lot of the top-ranked players, Jimmy Connors, Bjorn Borg, players like that, they wouldn't make the trip down to Australia on a consistent basis. Connors had been beaten in the finals of the Australian Open the previous year by John Newcomb, and he wouldn't play at the Austrian Open for several years after that. And Bjorn Borg, I think, played there uh, in 1973 or 74, but in either case, he wasn't making that trip routinely to go down to play the Austrian Open. In fact, he said that he would only do that if he managed to win the other three slams so that he could try to go for the calendar year Grand Slam. So that did leave a bit of a door open for someone like um, Mark Edmondson. Now, an interesting thing about Mark Edmondson was he was actually working as a janitor at a bank just a few weeks before he would go on to win this event. So he was really kind of starting from nowhere and working his way up very, very quickly. And in my opinion, this is really the closest thing I can find to like a Cinderella story with tennis. So of course, being ranked as low as 212, you would expect Mark Edmondson to really struggle to win his first and only Grand Slam title. And not surprisingly, he had to go five sets in his first match against Peter Feigl from Austria. Feigl came very, very close to ending the dream run for him right there, but luckily for Edmondson, he was able to get through that match. And it wouldn't get a lot easier for him either because he would have to take on the 1974 Austrian Open runner-up, Phil Dent, in the next round. And luckily for Edmondson, he was able to get off to a really strong start against Dent, and he was able to win the match in four sets. Now going forward into the next few rounds, uh, Edmondson would luckily play a couple of other Australian players and not necessarily household name players either. So he was able to win those matches and eventually he got to the semifinals where he would have to face off against Ken Rosewall. Now that's a name of course that most of you guys probably all of you guys actually know. Uh, Ken Rosewell had an amazing career back in the 1960s, but in 1976, he would have been a bit past his prime, and uh, I want to say maybe 41 years old or so. And uh, Ken Rosewell was kind of uh, basically close to retirement at this point, and Edmondson was able to get a huge win against Rosewall, putting him in his first Grand Slam final, and then he would have to go up against John Newcomb, the defending champion who had beaten Jimmy Connors the year before. So even though Newcomb is a little bit older at this point and he's not playing uh, the same schedule he was before, he is still the defending champion. He does have a lot more experience obviously than the 22 year old 212th ranked Edmondson, but Edmondson is able to stun Newcomb and he wins his first Grand Slam title despite being ranked 212. 
It really is an incredible story. Uh, the closest thing, like I said, to a Cinderella story that we have in tennis. Uh, it was definitely something I wanted to share with you guys because I thought it was such an interesting story. And uh, to conclude this video, if you have any memories of watching Edmondson's uh, amazing run back then, then please leave them in the comment section down below and uh, let me know what you think about this. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you at the next one.